but I return to this particular motion here from Senator Xenophon. It is inexcusable for this parliament to turn its back on a group of people who are bringing forward allegations of not adhering to Commonwealth law. That is what I'm asking about here. I want to see occupational health and safety laws enforced in Australia. I want to see appropriateness in terms of tax deductibility and tax exemptions and so on, because every time you have an organisation not paying tax, it means it's a dollar less that you are spending on health and welfare and all of the things that the community agrees we need to spend money on. And if you are saying they shouldn't pay tax, then they should be able to demonstrate a public benefit. And I think that is a reasonable expectation from the community. So I am hearing around this parliament that once again we are not going to have support for an investigation into the appropriateness of the tax law. We're not going to have an investigation into occupational health and safety practices. We're not going to have an investigation into not adhering to the laws in relation to wages, fair remuneration in this country. We're not going to have an investigation into the adequacy of consumer protection. So I ask the government and the coalition to tell me how are they going to address these matters? How? If we're not going to have a Senate inquiry, saying go to the police is no good because people go to the police and you have to have evidence to convict and where are you going to get people coming forward and giving evidence when they are, when we're clearly part of the allegation here is that people are brainwashed and coerced and that their families are harassed and so if someone wants to give evidence there is absolutely no doubt there will be other people inside the sect who will be giving evidence against them, but it will actually reinforce all the fears and divisions that are going on in those communities. It's an unrealistic expectation, and they know it. And they know it, which is why we need to have a Senate inquiry into compliance with Australian law. Compliance with Australian law. And I think it is disgraceful and cowardly for this Senate not to support this motion seeking the law to be applied and investigation as to whether or not the law is being applied in Australia as it pertains to that and indeed the appropriateness of the law as it stands. And I am moving here and I would be suggesting to Senator Xenophon, I've been moving on every single tax law in relation to tax exemption for uh, carbon sink forests. And I would suggest that Senator Xenophon joins me in every single tax bill that comes through here from now on. He can join me. I will move mine on exemptions on carbon sink forests and he can move his on exemptions for this and we will have this debate every time until the government or the coalition come up with a, with a suggestion of how they intend to deal with it if it's not going to be through a Senate inquiry. The question is then that the motion, Senator Evetts, 